what is up guys boy it's been a long time it actually would have been sooner because I've done like three vlogs since my last vlogs but uh I was kind of lazy and didn't put them up so yeah we are headed out on the road with Queensryche and Maytow for a big US tour so that's pretty awesome per, uh, right now I'm headed down to John's so we can go get the bus all packed up and get the trailer then we got to go to Ernie's and we have to get all the gear loaded into the trailer because we practice at Ernie's and yeah then we get to drive for the next three days out to San Jose California you take out your little globes and look at Georgia to San Jose it's quite a long way so we're all really excited about this tour for a few different reasons. One is mainly just because it's a tour. And uh, we haven't been on tour since we were in Europe with uh, Saxon and Skid Row. Um, I mean, we've played since then. We went to Columbia and played with Arch Enemy. And then uh, we've played Prague Power and we've played a few times just locally. Um, but yeah, it's been a really slow year for or last year. It's now 2016, as you know. Um, but 2015 was a lot slower of a year than we were hoping for, so it kind of um, was kind of made us all get a little depressed because we weren't out on the road playing and stuff. But now we've got an awesome tour, and we haven't been we haven't toured the U.S. since my first tour with the band, which was 2013. So. We've definitely neglected the U.S. for quite some time, so we're all happy to be out and go see the country again. So what's kind of funny is I'm just driving down the road, and my iPod's just on shuffle. Queen's right came on. thing uh, I think we're gonna be talking a lot about on this tour is uh, we've been working on a new album we've been doing pre-production for it for the last couple months or so and um, it is some super super cool material uh, it's 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 a lot heavier than uh, the stuff we've done before which is fine with me um, but it's it's really cool so I think we're gonna be doing some uh, some talking about some of the new tracks and stuff like that while we're on the road but uh, we're gonna start hopefully recording it in the spring and I guess have it out by maybe late summer, maybe end of the year, I don't really know. But it's gonna be something we, we've never done before kind of thing. It's gonna be really cool. In 800 feet, turn right onto Glen Haven Way. Don't you hate it when your uh, navigation just ruins a song for you? All right, made it to John's house. Bus isn't here yet. It's supposed to be here at 10. It's not quite 10:30 yet, so not too worried. I don't, I don't know if I didn't vlog back then, but on my first tour with Halcyon and back in 2013 with Fate's Warning, we were supposed to get a bus delivered at. Let's see, I think it was like 12 or something like that it was supposed to get there. Hey John, on the on the Fates tour, when was the uh, when was the bus originally supposed to get there? At like 11 or 12 or something like that? <laughs> supposed to be here, I think it's 11 or 12 maybe. But they were bad at math <laughs> and bad at calendaring because they had the delivery booked for the next day at 12. So when we called them at 12 and go, hey, our bus isn't here. Oh, it's in the state. It'll be right there. <laughs> what had happened was they didn't even tell the driver he needed to deliver it that day because they thought it was the next day. So the guy had to be woke up, put in the van, <laughs> and brought it up. Got here eight hours late. I, I think it was later than that. I don't think it got here until like 1030 that night or something. So it was about, about 10, 11 hours late. <laughs> something like that. It was, I, it, I was, it was that late. It was pretty bad time, regardless. <laughs> by the time we pushed off, because we had a problem with the trailer hitch. Yeah. And then we had to take Maybe that's what I'm thinking of. It was like yeah. 11 or something like that then we, by the then, time. Then we had to take the driver to Marta so they could get back. And by the time we pushed off, it was like 11 or something like that. Yeah. So we drove, we drove all night to get to Chicago. We finally got it. Yeah. It was awesome. <laughs> so we, 
I think we quadruple checked with the bus company that that wasn't gonna happen again. <laughs> but I'm not worried this time. You worried? I'm not worried. Not really. They're already in town. They called me. Oh, okay, that's good. So in true Halcyon Way style, we already have a tire problem. <laughs> <laughs> so John and I are taking it to Discount Tire to get the tire fixed on the trailer, which we just had checked to make sure that we wouldn't have this problem. <laughs> yeah. So it could be worse. Awesome. Totally figures. <laughs> Hopefully this will be the only one. <laughs> I say it could always be worse, so. Max. We have a Max. We have a Max. Are you excited? Are you excited? I'm so excited. <laughs> so this is gonna be our home for the next month. Pretty cool, got TV and stereo and DVD player and all sorts of storage and goodies. Microwave, fridge, all the bunks. It's pretty cool. So in one of the more interesting things we've had happen to us, we're just driving down the highway and somebody decides to open up their window and throw something big, we're not really sure what it was, and hit the van and yeah, it was kind of interesting. Stop for some gas. Almost to Steve. I think we're about 45 minutes to an hour away or so. I say, driving up to Nashville is one of my favorite drives to do just because these nice big hills you get to see. Just a very, very scenic route up to Nashville. Wouldn't you say? Very scenic. Very spacious and luxurious accommodations. <laughs> There's Steve's horse that he has. <laughs> Jersey, don't be such a scaredy dog. Hey, don't be, don't be calling me names on cameras. <laughs> so we made a little food stop, getting Arby's. It's not really what I want, but it's cheap and it's hot. And it's in the truck stop we're at, so that's what it is. Getting gas yet again. This thing drinks gas. This is like our uh, third or fourth time we've been filling up already. It's fun. And of course the credit card, the bank credit card got flagged as fraud because we used it in like three states in one day. But we're just outside Memphis right now. So Still got a ways to go, about another six hours, I think. It's a good day. It's a good day. Yeah. Fresh air. Yeah, so it's early morning, and are we still in Little Rock? Or are we past Little Rock? No, I mean, we're. It's called Russell, Russellville. Russellville, Arkansas. So we're getting ready to push off. Gonna have some breakfast. Gonna have a nice peanut butter sandwich, protein shake. Breakfast of champions. What are you gonna have for breakfast, Steve? Probably a protein shake or a protein bar. Maybe both. <laughs> Maybe I'll just take out my handy dandy blender and have a decent shake. <laughs> so we just entered our fourth state. We're in Oklahoma. I think our goal tonight is to try and reach Flagstaff, Arizona. And then we're gonna have to wake up again and drive another about 11 hours to get to San Jose. It's gonna be fun, isn't it, buddy? Lots of fun. <laughs> At least it's a nice day outside. It is a beautiful day out. Perfect driving weather. Alright, so we had to make a pit stop at Discount Tire. Did. Yeah, of course we did. Um, our, we, we've had to refill our tires so many times now, probably 
four or five times, maybe even more than that. And we've only, and that's like what, 700, we've gone, I've driven like what, seven, 800 miles? Yeah, so they just kept getting low. There's snow on the ground right there. Um, but uh, they just kept getting low, so we just said, we're just gonna get new tires. So we gotta wait for the new tires to get put on. And we're just gonna walk around and kill some time here. Should be fun. What are you getting? What are you getting for dinner? Livers and gizzards. Mm. The best part of the chicken. <laughs> Gonna get a small. some snow. We just woke up a few minutes ago. We're still in uh, New Mexico. And we have some snow. Luckily it's really light. It's not like... And it's not like, you know, we're in Georgia where it snows and then everything turns to ice and then you can't go anywhere. It's actually very bearable out here too. It's very comfortable. I don't even know how cold it is exactly, but... Pretty cool. This is our last day of driving. We got about well, not last day of driving. Well, you know, uh, driving towards our first show. So we got about a 16-hour drive ahead, <laughs> and we will finally be in San Jose. Do you know the way to San Jose? <laughs> Google told me. <laughs> There's so much snow here in Arizona. Very pretty though. All right, so we are, I think about five and a half, six hours away from San Jose. So we're in the home stretch. And we haven't really had food all day. So we're stopping at this, uh, I can't even see the sign from here because I'm that nearsighted, but we're stopping at a steakhouse. It's apparently supposed to be really good. You can bite it. Um, look at this delicious salad. And what did you get, John? Sirloin, blue cheese, whatever this is. I don't know what this is. <laughs> what is this exactly? Zucchini. Hey, scallops. Zucchini. Grilled zucchini. We got it. Okay. Two the salads here. Alright, so after having a delicious dinner, very delicious dinner, we are on our final approach to San Jose. We've got about six, six, ten and a half, seven hours or so we gotta drive tonight, which will get us there at about one in the morning. So it's really not that bad. Um, so yeah, that's about it for the night. I'm gonna go ahead and end this one today just because, I mean, this is gonna be three days worth of vlogging anyway to edit together. And I'll just go ahead and end it so we can start the new one for tomorrow. So we'll see you then.